Hello and welcome back to EverQuest. Today we're doing another farm video. Uh, this one is in Sybilis and this is a good spot to get natural silk among a lot of other things. Uh, my bags are kind of full at the moment, but let's go ahead and show, show you what we need to do. So uh, typically I just run through here and aggro everything. <laughs> uh, a, I've never done it on my bard. I usually do it on my monk. But a level 86 monk can take the entire zone at the at the same time, right? Uh, I can pull everything, uh, minus things that summon uh, accidentally. I usually kill everything once I start getting summoned by stuff. But I typically just do this. I run through. I have... Uh, right, the song broke now because I got stunned or something. But uh, try to pull everything I can, right? Uh, actually, I think I have a, a damage shield on, and that usually breaks things, uh, actually. So let's do this. There we go. There, we tagged everything. Uh, yeah, we got Rhyme, rhyme Spurs on the 7,000 damage, uh, what you call it. So this is, you know, just pull everything you can and, uh, kill it. And you'll get so much loot. And, uh... At 85 plus, you can kill everything in the zone with almost no effort. Uh, even Trakanon. Uh, my monk was killing Trakanon. I've killed him like three times now. And, uh, like, it feels like no hits at all. I mean, he just dies. It's hilarious, actually. Uh, so we just grab everything. I, I just, I do the, there's only one other person in the zone. And typically there's usually one to zero people. And it's usually some guy camping the undead bard or something like that for the bard epic. Uh, or I saw a guy actually camping the king for some reason. Uh, I guess he wanted a fungi tunic, but... You just go through here, tag as much as you can. Uh, I'm gonna actually turn off Rhyme Spears now. Or Rhyme Spur. And that, uh, the, the damage shield can be an issue when you go to the lower floor because the uh, mushrooms and the juggernauts summon a lot and I don't think these frogs do so what you want to do is you just want to get everything everything to attack you passively I'm usually just standing next to them will get them to do it and then you just make sure you get everything in the zone let's get this uh, AOE going if we can cast it but our melee is just so strong that we it's not even a big deal See where you even with the damage shield gone, we still can uh, kill everything with no no real issue. And the the benefit of this is you, well, you're getting the trade skill items you need, right? There's a lot more than just natural silk to spawn here, but uh, you know three to seven platinum per kill is uh, phenomenal, right? I don't even know where these guys came from, so let's just get them all into the party here. Um. And I, I, I could probably be playing better songs for this uh, could, <laughs> to loop it all into a uh, like a damage shield kind of thing. But I, just for now, this is just simple enough for demonstration purposes. And typically on my monk, I just grab everything on the... Uh, I, I break the zone up into multiple pulls, right? I pull everything from... Here's like the zone in at the very right. I grab everything on this end. I kill it right back here at the repairer. And then I get everything over here, usually, and then I kill it over here in Disco 2, where the command responds. And then I go over here, uh, go down, I go downstairs, and I pull everything from the jail all the way to uh, Trakanon. Uh, and the only time I stop is if I get aggro from, uh, from uh, the summoning stuff, because monks will rip... Rip, rip post a lot more than um, I guess bards, so you have to deal with that kind of stuff a lot where uh, you're just running through and you get randomly summoned by a shroom so it's always good just to kill everything at that point otherwise you'll get summoned every uh, every chance, every opportunity that it, they can summon so it's just kill everything and then uh, you'll get uh, flawed and ornate defiant gear dropping also and you can sell that for uh 
decent chunk of change on uh, the auction house. Uh, leave that. I call it auction house, but it's the bazaar. Ah, uh, that's all those guys. There's a few roamers that didn't, that aren't following us for some reason. There's another guy. Where is he? Right there. And uh, yeah, so this is just like a really good spot to farm stuff. Uh, and like, uh, so yeah, we, I think we didn't kill everything. But let's just go up here. Uh, I've never tried it with a bard, but you can do the uh, crypt also, since the bards can do lock picking. So let's uh, let's grab all that and let's try that real quick. See see how that works. Uh, the monk can't get in, so it's one of those things. And I don't. There's another guy here. Uh, oh, he was here. He's gone now. I guess he was just checking to see if tracking on was up, but he's not gonna spawn for another day. <laughs> uh, so. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I guess someone killed the uh, that guy, which is interesting. So we need to use our lock picks on the door. Go in. And then we can pull, start pulling this. And we'll go all the way back here. I think we can go... Or, uh, right over here. There, we're, now we're inside the crypt area. We can go down here. Just grab it all. Grab all these placeholders. And you could probably just do this constantly. Usually you don't see, oh, there's a named right here. So let's go ahead and kill him. He's going to summon us. It's the AOE starts hitting him. And we'll, we'll probably never take damage. Uh, the the monk I, I had run through here a few times never took any damage at all. <laughs> because they just can't hit. So yeah, like 99.9. .9. We're just not going to take enough damage from this stuff to even bother with it. So that's really nice. And, you know, barred melee is not that great, so it's going to take a little a little bit of time to melee some of this stuff down. Let's go to my normal songs, get a little extra damage, since we've tagged everything at this point. And that's really the point of the AoE song, is to tag everything, because if you have the damage shields on, stuff will die faster than, uh, than you can uh, realize. Alright, I think we got everybody there. Uh, let's go back, let's go back here. I don't I don't know, I'm not concerned about, like, actually farming right now. Ah, uh, where is it? I can't remember which way to go. There it is. To get to the Duke's room. There we go. So go in here. Uh, this is another locked door. Open that. Got dusty, dusty whatever, and that's where the blood of Kotal spawns. And we got stunned. And the Emperor is not up, so we can go ahead and just kill all these guys. Well, yeah, this is a, uh, a great spot, a farm spot. So here, I'll, I'll go through that here in a minute. We got so much junk on us right now. I forgot to uh, forgot to sell from the last uh, <laughs> last spot I went to. So, all right, let's go ahead and get all these guys down. And I like farming with a bard just because of the AOE song. It makes tagging things easier. Plus, they run really fast. Like, teleporting places doesn't really matter. Uh, pet class might be able to kill more efficiently. But, uh, yeah. All right. So, things of interest. Crude silk. Uh, tacky silk. Uh, those are from before. I don't think we actually got any natural silk that time. I uh, don't see any. Flawed animal pelts. Uh, rough animal pelts. Uh, let's see here. Uh, rubicite ore. Uh, crude animal pelts. And f uh, flugante uh, ore, I guess. I don't know how you say that. And yeah, so we've got five star rubies. Isabellos, I need that for something. Uh, yeah, and then Defiant, right? So this was about right right here. So we got a some kind of ring, a flawed Defiant Bracers, flawed Defiant Chain Arms, uh, Deepwater Helm, Silver Chain stuff. This is just like random uh, bot named Bob Loot. I sell all that to a vendor. It's not even worth doing anything with from what I can tell. But 
yeah, I mean, this is uh, this zone is huge. Um, depending on your class, you or class and level, you can probably pull. I I I I've had issues trying to get mobs all the way from here to all the way to here. So I I usually do it in uh, three three pulls. So it'd be everything here, everything here, as I said, and then everything below is usually I just run to track it on and I try not to hit anything. And the shrooms will social aggro every everything. Uh, here, let's, let's just go do it. I got nothing but time. So let's get through here, get through there. Oh, we're getting pick lock, lock pick skill ups too. So that's pretty nice. Uh, let's see, it's through. Where are we at? I always get lost in here. You got to follow the torches, I think is what it is. There we go. So we're here. Go up through here. There we go. Now we can get out. And you need the uh, lockpicks to get out of the crypt, as you do need to get them to get into the crypt. So it's kind of it's a pain if you're not a uh, bard, honestly. All right, let's turn the song on so we can start uh, tagging stuff. Actually, no, we don't want that. We're going to go down. And as you can see, my bard does not have any swimming skills, so it is uh, quite the uh, slow swim. But that's just a very short time in the water. All right, so typically what I do is I go over here first. I grab all these guys. Uh, hopefully she doesn't rip repost anything and... Uh, they will stay undamaged over here in my little side uh, extended view. All right, let's go. So slow swim. <laughs> it's I can do it a lot faster on my monk just because he uh, doesn't have uh, the same uh, slow. So we're going to go like that. Uh, if I see the king up, I will stop for the king and uh, kill him. But otherwise, no. So yeah, so we're already getting summoned by uh, something. And now we're getting stunned, so we're just going to go ahead and kill everything. Now that's the only, uh, that's the only reason I ever stop, is if I get summoned. And we're getting intricate silk too, so I didn't realize that before. And, uh, pristine silk, rubicide ore, all things that make trade skill leveling up easier, right? Uh, and people on my server, people sell that stuff for thousands of platinum each for some unknown reason it, it just seems to me way overpriced and uh farming it is just so much easier because getting lots of platinum is out short of you know buying buying chrono and selling the chrono is uh quite uh quite hard at this level i guess i don't, I don't know what's the best way to do that yet but this yields a lot of uh lot of money and these all these shrooms will social aggro once you get like one to attack you there you go you go up here what do we got here we got the a reaver placeholder so we're just gonna leave that i don't really care about that we're gonna run through here uh we're gonna try to build a huge train is really what the goal is get these ones with social aggro or those ones just aggroed but then we get to the juggernauts or juggernauts and these are ones are really good for making money uh, just go ahead and grab all of them. And I usually come in here and get the reets. And and we're being summoned. So now that we're being summoned, might as well just kill everything. And I don't know what's causing this the summoning sometimes. I think it's just re reposts. But I usually turn off all the damage shields and stuff. Which makes killing slower. But, uh... Once at a certain level, it doesn't even really matter. They die so fast. Like, uh, my bard hits for a thousand, so it's just a matter of hitting them. I think she's literally like one hitting them right now. And she has a, uh, she has a multiple procs on her weapons, too. Uh, I can't even remember what it is. Like 81, 22 with, uh, let's see, 280 damage proc and 
what is this one? 360 damage proc. So, and that is the TBM gear for 85. I had to uh, <laughs> max her gear out. So she was able to not uh, die to the way I pull to train her to get uh, stuff like that. So killed all those. Let's keep going. We'll run all the way to tracking on. Uh, usually I just go through all these little sub caves and uh, tag everything. Uh, there was a 95 Shadow Knight here before, so I'm guessing he was up here killing, uh, killing, yeah. So the Undead Bard's up right now. And uh, Trachanon will spawn, I think, tomorrow. Since I killed him, I recently. So you just get all these guys, tag them all. Uh, I don't know if I have a damage shield, but my re repost, if she does repost, I don't even know if Bards do or not. Something's causing <laughs> damage to these guys, and I don't have any damage shields on, so. She's, uh, actually, does she even have it? Uh, sort by name, uh, repost. Yes, she does. 255. So, yeah, that is what the damage is. And then you'll get these spells on the, uh, on the juggernauts that sell for a decent chunk of uh, gold each. Uh, intricate, defiant, ornate, defiant, uh, flawed, defiant. So, you get all the defiants, and those all, on my server, I can sell those each for a thousand each, so good money uh i don't know how much coin I, I actually looted since i have so much gold on this character but uh my monk was getting on one full clear a thousand platinum from just looting and then another probably five to ten thousand from selling all of the junk that he looted and that was uh that's one full clear of every single spawn point in the zone up until uh up until right here and then I usually, uh, and then I, I feign death, log out, switch to another character and do something else for a little bit. And then come back, then everything's respawned, and then I run from there all the way back through the zone until I get to the lower zone out down here. Uh, where is it? Right here. I'll go through here. Uh, for the monk, since the monk doesn't have lockpicks, uh, you have to let a juggernaut open the store. But other uh, the... The um, bards can just click at that and open it, I believe. At least that's the way I thought it was. I'm not sure what's going on. <laughs> I guess the door doesn't open. I, I, on the monk, I use the uh, a juggernaut to do it, but I guess uh, there's none up right now, so... I don't know why the door didn't open. I thought you picked it like that and it opened. Never done this. Never run done this run on a bard. And on my private server, doing that opens the door, so I don't know what's going on there. But this is a good place to end it then, uh, since I need. To, I'll just I'll just origin out and uh, head back to town. But uh, yeah. So that is Sibilis. That is a it's a great place to get uh, ores and silks and all those are alternate ways to level up. Uh, uh, trade skills all the way up to whatever level uh, the highest one is. I think it you should be able to get the three hundred with the materials from here. I believe. But uh, I was averaging when on my monk, clearing every mob in the zone. I got about five to ten natural silk per run. And uh, that's what that was my target at the time. Uh, I, I kept all the other stuff too, just to see. But silk was what my target was because I was trying to level up uh, tailoring for uh, uh, gnome regard. But I, I ended up not even needing any of the natural silk that I farmed. But uh, yeah, so that is Sibilis, great farm spot. So uh, thank you for watching and have a great day.